Hey guys, if you're like me, you're super excited, you're eagerly awaiting uh, the launch of New World, which will be here shortly. The game is available for download already, early download, so you can get that out of the way and you're not waiting tomorrow morning. And you can actually launch the game uh, and get into settings and change some of your settings around. So let's uh, let's look at doing that here. And um, I'll show you some things that you should change, some things that are preferences, you know, you can pick one way or the other, um, and things that are just gonna make your life a little bit easier or explain how they make your life a little bit easier. So let's uh, let's not waste any more time, jump right into it. All right, so first thing uh, up here top right, that's where your settings are if you don't know, and we'll go through these things one at a time. The first thing to look at is swap weapons. This is one of the ones that I looked at. You can activate this or not. I haven't decided yet whether I like it. I'm gonna start off with it. I'm gonna mind my mouse wheel just because yeah, I've got a mouse that has this. It's completely up to you. You can put a key to this. You can do all sorts of things, but it's just, a, it's a little way to, uh, faster way to swap weapons um, versus using your uh, numbers and things like that. So I'm gonna try it out. I suggest you do the same and figure out what works best for you. Uh, another one that's kind of a handy thing is auto run. Now equals is okay. That might not bother you. For me, I feel like this is a long reach and um, I don't remember what game it is, but I make this the tilde button, the top left one right underneath your escape key. I can't remember where this is from. This is from a game a long time ago that I used to play. Uh, it's easy to remember and I like it being there. Um, so that's gonna be my auto run. Do whatever works best for you. Now, the last one we wanna talk and we'll get into a little bit more detail, but is your push to talk button. Um, I'm leaving mine as V, you shouldn't change it, but if you were looking to change this to something like maybe your mouse key, right? You wanna go to mouse five, we'll change it back to V. But a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll have this push to talk on one button and then their discord on another. Uh, that way communication is clear, especially in some of your PVP events or your raids, things like that. You can have two different groups to talk to and keep lines of communication a little bit cleaner. So just keep that in mind. This is where that push to talk is at. Okay, moving down to preferences. We have um, pretty simple stuff here. You don't really have to mess with any of this. It's all kind of language things if you want, you know, bad word filters, that kind of stuff. One thing that's important is the bandwidth mode. Um, I always change this to high. I don't have a problem. I have good internet. It might be dependent on you, but I don't know anybody who doesn't have this on high and has issues. Down to gameplay, one really important one in here. Um, I don't know why you would want to have this on, uh, maybe for cinematic effects or something, but make sure you have your camera shake set to off just because when your spells are hitting you and shit like that, it really can screw up what you can see and makes it hard to do other things. Uh, so in a competitive PVP stance, this is a problem, um, as well as if you're doing support and raids and things like that. So I turn this off, I won't turn it on. I might turn it on if we're trying to do something content wise, it's crazy cinematic and see how it looks, but I'm not looking for anything like that right now. So I suggest you turn it off. Some of the other ones, uh, this was defaulted on, always show rectical, make sure you have that on because it just makes shooting bows and arrows and spells and stuff like that a lot easier. And then the next one is show extra ability cooldowns. You wanna click this on. Um, what this does is it puts another cooldown thing more centered in your screen so it's easier to see. So you're not trying to look all over your monitor looking for cooldowns and stuff. It's right in the center when you're doing PVP, things like that. It's just more information, easy to see. Uh, if you don't like that, again, you can turn it off, but I'm gonna have it on, uh, especially at the start because we're gonna be going pretty hard. The next one is accept dual invites. And this is just pure personal preference. If it's on, it doesn't automatically accept. It just allows people to uh, invite you to duels. If you have no interest in dueling, you can just turn it off and not even have to worry about it. I'm gonna leave mine on. If it gets annoying and bothersome, this is where you can come turn it off. So just keep that in mind. The next one is auto traverse. This is super preferential and there's situations where you don't wanna have this on. But with it on, it means if you're trying to climb over rocks and jump up mountains and stuff, you're not constantly pressing the space bar. It just does it automatically. So I'm gonna leave mine on, but if you get in a situation where you're trying to sneak around or you're walking over stuff that you don't wanna hop over, uh, make sure you have it off because it will auto traverse, it'll grab and do it for you. Now the healing stuff, this is super complicated. I'm not gonna get into a bunch of detail. If you're a healer, you really need to pay attention to this though. There's things in here with how the healing in the game works that's different than pretty much any other mechanic in the game. And there's a lot of preference here, but there's some things that will work better. So if you have more questions about this, make sure you get with somebody who's really experienced um, and they can explain to you why they changed some of these settings and situations where they should be on or off, depending on the role you're serving. And then lastly, at the bottom, you have your auto pins. I like having these all on. It's personal preference. If you only, a lot of guys will just run with the main story quests. Me, I don't mind it because you can go through and you can select and you can set what you want to show. Uh, but I, I hate running past side quests and missing them because I didn't have a pin dropped. Um, but again, personal preference, but this you can change it and this is where it's at. So here in visuals, this is all personal preference. Uh, it depends on your computer, depends on what you're trying to do. Some people turn this stuff down for competitive edge. Some people want to do cinematic stuff and make it look absolutely beautiful. So you just have to keep that in mind with all of this, tweak it as you need to, what you're going to do. Um, one thing that I am going to put on right now as low as water details, just because it doesn't need to run the extra FPS. 
nothing in the water really happens. Maybe if, again, we try to do some cool screenshots or something, I'll turn this on, but I'm turning mine to low uh, just to help out a little bit. Uh, another one for me is showing FPS. Um, it comes up here in the top right corner. You can see uh, along with your ping. The big reason for me on this is it just allows me to watch how my computer's performing and getting into some boggy areas, maybe change some of the settings. That's why I have it on there. And then again, VSync, max FPS, uh, player name, player amount, all of this stuff is gonna be completely dependent on what you wanna have on your computer uh, and personal preferences. So no real recommendations there for that. Now audio, uh, mostly personal preference again here. I turn everything down a little bit and I'll tweak with this more as I get into the game and there's sounds that are more annoying or that I want them muffled. One that I do remember is vocal vo uh, vocals volume and I might even turn this down even further. Uh, again, if that stuff gets annoying or you don't like hearing it, um, this is all the screaming and yelling and stuff, not VoIP, but the actual characters when they're uh, casting spells and things like that. It, uh, it, it It's handy to turn this down um, so it's not overwhelming everything else. Though you might not want to mute it because you can use that for cues for certain things, especially in PvP. Uh, and the, then if you're muted, you won't hear any of it. And lastly, the real one we'll talk about is communication. So voice chat mode enabled. This is your VoIP. This is so you can hear people around you. If you don't want to hear people talking or it's annoying, you can turn it off here. You can set it to group only, things like that that will help out. And then you got all your settings based on where this is going to come out. Like this is where uh, the voice is if you want to set a different source uh, for VoIP, you can do that, uh, as well as where your microphone's coming in so that the computer knows what to look for. And then again, here's your push to talk. You can hold or toggle or always on. I suggest push to talk hold. Toggle might have some rare circumstances, but you generally don't want to leave it on all the time because you're just going to be blasting people constantly. Chat text size allows you to change the text size on um, the chat. It, it's kind of handy if you have a really big monitor, you can kind of change chat sizes, or if you're doing things more with chat, it makes it easier to read. Fade delay, obvious, just how long it takes to fade. Message background is completely clear. There's no background to it. And then I have a 90% opace opacity. Um, it, it just helps a little bit with immersion for me, but this total personal preference, do what you want to do, but the settings are in here to make your game look how you want to do it. And then you got language filter and chat alerts and all this other stuff that is again, personal preference. And then these last four tabs, there's not a lot in them. Um, if you're a streamer, there's stuff to pay attention to, you know, social, this will keep dirty banners and bad words from showing up on your stream. You know, you can link Twitch and do a lot of the other stuff. That's completely for streamers to worry about though. If you're not streaming, you don't need to worry about it. Um, and accessibilities for, you know, colorblind mode, some other things like that. If you're one of those players that needs that, this is where it's at, uh, though I don't need, probably don't need to tell you, most of you guys know where to find this stuff anyways. All right, well, that wraps up my first New World video, guys. We're gonna start doing more of these. I'm looking forward to doing guides. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Um, I'm super looking forward to tomorrow. Hope you are too. We'll see you in, uh, I almost said we'll see you in Tarkov, but we'll see you in New World, guys. Have a good day.